Hey guys, this is Siddharth and today we are going to be taking a look at this Arctic Freezer Extreme Revision 2 CPU cooler from Arctic. And this is the installation guide which you should definitely check before installing. So it has a twin tower design with 102 fins and 4 double sided heat pipes and a 120mm fan which runs up to 1500rpm. So we are going to see whether all of that uh, actually makes it perform well or not. So keep in mind that this is a proprietary fan which means that you cannot replace it with any other 120mm fan as you can do with uh, the Cooler Master Hyper 212X. Otherwise as you can see the heatsink looks quite uh, large and is quite hefty. Still it uh, weighs only at around 600 grams so it shouldn't harm your motherboard or anything with its weight. So it comes with the thermal paste pre-applied so all you have to do is put this on your CPU. So these are the pins and latches for installation with Intel and AMD systems. So installation on the Intel side is quite easy. You just have to put the plastic bracket around the CPU and then you have to push the white pins in and then you have to push the black pins in and then you can put the CPU over the bracket and screw it in. And then just install the fan and plug it in and you're done. And on the AMD side, you just have to screw the latches provided on the cooler and then tighten them on the bracket that is pre-installed on the AMD platform. So now we are going to see how well this uh, cooler is going to perform on both Intel and AMD platforms. So on the AMD FX6300 with the stock cooler, you can see that uh, the processor keeps running at 80 Celsius, which means that it has to thermal throttle to prevent damage which means that it is going to underclock itself so it's not going to perform as well as it can with a good CPU cooler. And now as you can see that we are topping out at just 59 Celsius which means that the CPU doesn't have to thermal throttle itself and as a result uh, you can see that we have gained quite a significant increase in performance on Cinebench. Now since we had such a temperature overhead left we thought that we can also overclock the CPU which was not previously possible. So this is actually an increase of uh, around 46% over the AMD stock cooler and that is a really big deal. And even then you can see that we are topping out at 64 Celsius which is uh, really really great. But the story changes a little on uh, Intel side as you can see that uh, we are not able to maintain that dramatic of a difference. The Core i7-6700 tops at 74 Celsius. So just keep that in mind if you are on Intel. Now we are going to see just how much of a difference is in the noise levels of these two coolers. And as you could hear the difference was actually quite big. So if you are aiming for a silent system then this cooler is an excellent choice. So that was it for this Arctic Freezer Extreme Revision 2 CPU cooler from Arctic. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and the performance tests. So make sure you like the video if it helped you and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And I'll see you in the next one.